So once your piece is ready to trim, it's kind of at a soft leather hard where I can handle the piece, but it's not changing form. We're gonna dampen the wheel handle and dampen the lip of our piece. So we're gonna flip it upside down. And the first step is to make it so it's, we can evenly trim the bottom. So I'm gonna take my needle tool and it's really important to hold it against the side of the top of the piece because it might be different down here at the bottom. So I'm holding it right here on the side and it's evenly touching the ne needle tool all the way around. So once it's in the center, I can kind of press down just a little bit and I have some clay right here that matches the same clay body that I'm tr uh, through with earlier. And I'm gonna make tinier pieces and kind of press down on the wheel head so it's not messing with the lip of my piece, but it's just kind of holding it in place. So I have three spots with clay. And I'm gonna make sure that my piece isn't going anywhere so it doesn't fly off the wheel. And from there, I always start with a bigger loop tool just by kind of cleaning off the bottom, making sure it's nice and even. And same thing on the side, getting any extra clay um, from those trim marks that I made before I took my piece off the wheel. So from there, some people like to draw a circle to kind of denote where they want to trim. And that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, this little chunk off the side of my pot. So I always start with the bigger loop tool because it does takes away bigger chunks of clay. So I'm gonna go right in between those lines. I'm kind of bracing my arms on my thighs in the three o'clock position. And from there, I can decide if I want like a taller foot, but I'm always gonna be working in the top quarter part of the pot. And I might kind of even up the side a little bit, but I'm never gonna go down so far where I mess up the form of the pot. Since this is a pretty basic cylinder, I'm gonna leave a basic foot on the bottom of the pot. Some people like to use a smaller loop tool as well that has like an L shape to it. So if you wanted a cleaner uh, wall for your foot, the trim on the side, it does more detailed work. And I'm kind of just smoothing it out with my fingers, especially if it's a soft, softer leather hard. And then this foot will help when we glaze the pot after it's been bisque fired because this is the part that will sit on the kiln shelf. And so I'm leaving a little more than a quarter of an inch right here. So it leaves room for the blades to run. And this is the part of the pot that will be actually touching the table or whatever surface. So I wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. So once I kind of have the foot where I want it, I can take my rib and I like using a stiffer rib for trimming and then I'll dampen it, make sure the edge is nice and clean before I put it on my pot. And I'm gonna smooth out the top and compress the clay. And then same thing on the sides where I trim. I might even make this edge a little more round with my rib. And then to keep this edge nice and soft, sometimes I dampen my finger and just kind of round it off. So from there, your piece has been trimmed, so you can take the clean off the wheel, and you're ready to pick your piece up.